Me and Charlie Ramirez will be singing uh, in Christ alone. Alright, we're serious.
always do, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, for this beautiful Sabbath day. And we thank you, Lord, for bringing us to church where we can come to worship and sing praises to your name. We thank you so much, Lord, for your redemption, your salvation, your goodness, and your grace in our life. We pray, Father, for Brother Jojo and his family. May you give him more grace, strength, and courage to do your will. We pray, Father, that you may be with him as he deliver your message this morning. And we pray, Father, for our church as a whole, that we may be in unity in loving to one another. We thank you, Father, for our visitors who come to worship with us. May we be blessed as we worship together. And we pray, Father, for those who are grieving, for those who are sick, discouraged. May you uh, give them comfort, healing, and peace. We ask you, Father, for forgiveness, where we have come short to your glory. May you lead us, Lord, into your righteousness. And we pray, Father, for the Holy Spirit to be with us. May he guide us to all truth as we study your word. May you open our heart and our mind and fill us with knowledge with your will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. We thank you, Father, for hearing and answering our prayer. In this name we pray. Amen. Amen. Church? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Test, test. Okay. Okay. There you go. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. It's good to be back here again. Good to have you. Thank you for inviting me to speak here again with you guys. Uh, the last time I spoke here was that was January. Wow, oh, that's fast. I was fast, and um, you know, during that time, um, we are preparing, and my daughter was preparing for uh, going to Taiwan for a mission trip. And you know, <laughs> um, that's the first time that my daughter will be away from from us for quite a while, 10, is it 10 days? Yep, I believe it's 10 days, it's 10 days. And you know, as a father and a parent, you know, sometimes my heart and my mind come to think of it that, oh Lord, please help me to trust in you. Amen? Amen. 
And um, in my mind, Lord, this is your work. And I know you will be with them. So, when the day comes for leaving, so you're going to go to the to Taiwan and um, stay there for 10 days. I told my wife and my daughter to, okay, let's have lunch because the, the flight is 4 in the afternoon. Pick me up at the office because my office is 5 minutes away from the airport, so real close. And that's okay, okay, we're going to eat lunch first before we... Uh, we go to Taiwan. Okay, okay, let's go eat lunch, everybody. Okay. So, they pick me up 11.30 and they need to be at the airport by 1 o'clock. So, we have at least an hour to eat, spend time together, talk stories, you know. So, they pick me up. I, run, I jumped in the car. I grabbed the steering wheel and I look at my wife and my daughter. Everybody's good? Yes. Did you grab everything? Yes. Guess what they forgot? Passport. <laughs> Passport. Then they look at each other. No, you got it. You got it. I told myself, I need to sip my mouth. So instead of eating lunch together, we drive back to Kapule <laughs> to look for the passport and grab it, just you know, open the fridge, I grab something, ah, just to eat it fast. Head back to the airport. And I think there's only three words. <laughs> <laughs> only three words. My wife's not talking, my daughter is not talking to. I'm not talking to because that's the time that they're going to test us. Because sometimes it's so upset. You gotta be upset easily right away. Right? So I thank God that he shot my mom. So didn't hurt anybody. So everything went well. Amen. Amen. So that my message for today is living in peace. Nowadays, um, when my brother Dan uh, broke the news about the shooting, have you heard in Texas? Yes. Ten students died. When I heard that, my heart bleeds. Why this thing needs to happen to our children? Why? There is why, why, why? And I know things happen with a reason. Things happen with a reason. Peace is something everyone wants, yet few seems to find. So what is peace? It can be defined as a tranquility, harmony, or security, depending on the situation. It could mean prosperity and or well-being. Various forms of word peace are found 429 times in the New King James Bible. There are different types of peace, including false peace, inner peace, peace with God, and peace with man. In the Old Testament, the primary Hebrew word for peace is shalom. Shalom. And it refers to a relationship between people nation and God. Peace is desired status in each of these arenas. What do you do to get peace? 
I mean real peace in life. Where do you start? Well, the best place to start is through the Word of God. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen? Okay, so let's... So what is peace again? So peace is a stress-free state of security. And calmness that comes when there's no fighting or war. Everything coexisting in perfect harmony and freedom. That's a good meaning, huh? But this is what I, I like. Peace is not defined by the absence of adversity, challenges, or disappointments. But peace is a gracious and loving presence of God's grace and presence of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Peace is something like, I have peace. What kind of peace do you have? Is it peace with God, peace with yourself, an inner peace, or a temporary peace? Inner peace is a wholeness of mind and spirit a whole heart at rest. Inner peace has a little to do with external surrounding. And this is what we do have on our scripture reading. It's not working. Anyway, our scripture reading says, Peace. There you go. I live with you. My peace I give to you, not as a word gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, troubled. neither let it be afraid. Is that a powerful passage? But take heart. What it says in John 16, 33, In this world, you will have many troubles. So peace is not the absence of trouble. It is the presence of God. Amen? Amen? Amen. Sister White, Says on the next slide, please. Okay, hold on. I'm going to turn it off. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Heavenly Places, page 35, it says, Whoever consent to renounce sin and open his heart to the love of Christ becomes a partaker of his heavenly peace. There is no other ground of peace than this. The grace of Christ received into the heart subdues enmity. It allays strife and fills the soul with love. He who is at peace with God and his fellow man cannot be made miserable. Envy will not be in his heart. Evils are missing will find no room room there. Hatred cannot exist. The heart that is in harmony with God is a partaker of peace of heaven and will diffuse its blessed influence all around. The spirit of peace will rest like a dew point hearts weary and troubled with worldly strife. Amen. The peace of God depends not on circumstances, but on a personal relationship with Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 Again, it says in, in John 16, 33, In me you may have peace. Incomparable peace rests on our agreement with God. When you submit your daily choices, to the Lord, 
you are in harmony with His Spirit. Amen. And you will experience true peace. Are we submitting our daily choices to our Lord? Are we? I had an experience. Um, I do safety trainings, uh, OSHA, OSHA 10, and I do have 21 candidates that needs to work at BAE system. This is um, a, a high security area. While I'm teaching the modules for the safety, one of this young pretty lady, yeah, probably she's early 30s, seated in front while I'm doing my training, he just looking at me like this and staring at me. I don't know what's in her mind. To tell you the truth, is there something wrong in my face? Or so after one module, I go out to the restroom, look at my phone. There's nothing wrong, okay? And she keeps on staring at me. And okay, I'll do my my stuff. And you know, at the back of my mind, what's this? Is this something? I really don't know. So when my last module. I'm going to give my last module and there's two ladies in front that they don't need to take that fire watch training. I told them, you two ladies are done. You don't need to attend this last module because you are not working in a production area. That's okay. Okay, you can go now. And then this young lady was staring at me. Can I get your card? Why you want to get my car? Why you get my want to get my phone number? Okay, I grab my, my, my wallet, get my business card, and I give it to her. This is my card. You can call me if you need some prayer. We have a prayer warrior in Waiwa, <laughs> and I'm gonna preach two two Saturdays from now at. Waipau Seventh-day Adventist Church and I'm inviting you if you want to come and join us and he's staring at me are you serious? I told me yes I'm serious and then I give the other card to my to, to, uh, to, to other candidates and other lady and you can call me we have a prayer warrior if you want to pray for anything just give me a call and I will pray for you if you need it the enemy is working overtime. The enemy is working overtime. Before my thinking is, my wife knows this. I don't have any problems with you. I know you. That's what she always told me. But I don't trust the girl that's sitting beside you. <laughs> that girl, I don't trust her. But you, I trust you. But that girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we need to be connected to our Lord always. Amen. Because the enemy, they try to sneak in. And they know all our weaknesses. And they're going to hit us there to our weaknesses. Believers have an obligation to let peace of God rule. If you have your Bible, please open to Colossians 3 verse 15. Colossians 3 verse 15. 15. And it says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as a member of one body you were called to peace and be thankful amen, amen. and be thankful 
this means we have the choice either to trust God, God's promises, and letting His peace rule in our hearts, or to rely on ourselves and reject the peace He offers, which is a lot of times we just rely on ourselves. Right? It happens to me. It happens to me. Let's go to Romans 8, 6. Romans 8, 6. Are you there? Amen. 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 For the carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Other version, I like this one. The mind of a sinful man is death. But the mind controlled by the spirit is life in peace. Amen? Amen. Peace should start within ourselves. It's not pointing fingers. You you need you need to start it with you. Yourself. It should start yourself. Peace is not easy if we hate our brothers, our sisters, our friends, co-workers, classmates. How can you have true peace if you hate somebody? The hardest part in our life is when they push our back in the wall. If life is good, everything seems okay. Everything seems okay. My wife, when she receives a medical bill, that Friday, Thursday seems like she's oh what is this? How are we gonna pay this? Oh ten thousand dollars. What? One day stay at the hospital. Oh. Emergency room. Ten thousand dollars. I told my wife, you don't need worry. God will take care of this bill. Amen. I tell you, God will take care of this bill. Amen. Christ followers are sent to the world with the message of peace. Whoever by the quiet, unconscious influence of the holy life shall reveal the love of Christ. Whoever by word or deed shall lead another to renounce sin and yield his heart to God is a peacemaker. The spirit of peace is evidence of their connection with heaven. And in Matthew 5, 9, it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. The Bible has a lot to say about peace. Jesus is called the Prince of Peace in Isaiah 9, 6. <coughs> 
The term peace is often used as a greeting and a benediction. So what exactly is peace? And how can we have inner peace? So peace is a fruit of the Spirit, right? Part of the Galatians 5.22 When the God of all peace comes to live inside a believing heart, He begins to produce His own characteristics in that life. Inner peace comes from knowing that circumstances are temporary and that God is the sovereign. Overall, peace comes from a exercising faith in the character of God and His Word. How can we see God or Jesus Christ in ourselves if we don't have peace in our heart? Inner peace resulting from a relationship with God allows us to keep things in proper perspective. We can accept difficult situations on earth by remembering that our citizenship is in heaven. Yes. Amen? Yes. It's not here. We are only temporary passing on this earth. Yes. And this is not our home. You know the song, This world is not my home. I'm just passing through. Let's open our Bible. But before we do that, I'd like you to ask, why do we have two ears and one mouth? Probably you know. There you go. More listening, less talking. But what are we doing? Right? We talk more, we listen less. Because we want to be known. We want to be, I'm right, I'm correct, I'm bad. <laughs> so, sorry for that. <laughs> because I saw somebody's pointing. <laughs> sorry for that. Uh, we want to be in control. I, 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 I'm right. I'm the one who needs uh, I'm the father. Uh, I'm the head of this family. So I am the one who has the last say. So we need to listen more. Why do we have two eyes? But one sight. Mm. Two eyes, one side. God wants us to stay focused to Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We have two eyes, but see one side only. So we have two. Our tongue is short, but it's sharp. We want to. We want to gossip, we want to tell something, we want to, to say bad things to other people. We want to break the news to our friends. Oh, did you know that they're divorced already? Huh? So it seems like oh, I'm the first one who will break the news to you, huh? Right? So something like gossiping. Don't play with fire. Fire will burn your house. The tongue is short, but it's sharp if you say.
say something bad, you cannot take it back. You cannot, you cannot take it back. So watch out what you say. Isaiah 32. Say a 32, verse 17. The word of the righteousness will be peace. And the effect of the righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's open our Bible again to James 3. James 3, 16 to 18. James 3, 16 to 18. Are you there? Amen. Amen. For where envy and self-seeking exists, confusion and envy, every evil things are there. 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, Willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits. So what, what are the fruits of the Spirit? Love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness. Without partially and without hypocrisy. And now the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make Peace. Amen? Amen. 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 And even Sister White says in heavenly places, Sin has destroyed our peace. While self is unsubdued, we can find no rest. The masterful passion of the heart no human power can control. We are as helpless here as were the disciples to control the raging storm. But he who spoke peace to the billows of Galilee has spoken the word of peace for every soul. In Romans 5.1, being justified by faith, we have peace with God for our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. We are commanded to live in peace with others. To live at peace means we interact with those around us in accordance with our own wholeness of mind. Our reaction to circumstances can bring peace to an otherwise chaotic situation. Blessed are the peacemakers. You know, um, this is one of my favorite uh, verses and uh, translation. The New Living Testament. Philippians 4, 6 to 9. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Amen. Then you will experience God's peace which exceeds anything we can understand, His peace will guard your heart and mind as you live in Christ Jesus. 
And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing, fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirably. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice, practice, practice. All you learn and receive from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing, then the God of peace will be with you. Amen. 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 Those professional athletes earns millions and millions of dollars. They don't just start playing when they were 18, 19, 20 years old. They start playing when they were still young. But for us Christians, we need to start now. Amen. We need to start now. The foundation of our peace, originally published in Review and Herald, May 19, 1896. And it says, The peace spoken of the great teacher is larger and fuller than we have imagined. Christ is ready to do large things for us to restore our natures by making us partakers of his divine nature. When we believe in Christ as our personal Savior, the peace of Christ is ours. The reconciliation provided for us in the atonement of Christ is the foundation of our peace. Whatever may be the tribulation that shall come upon us in the world, we are to be of a good cheer, knowing that Christ has overcome the world. We will have tribulations in this world, but peace in Jesus Christ. Turn your eyes from within and look to Jesus, who is your only helper. Amen. 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 And in conclusion of this uh, message, when we grow in understanding of the depth and riches of God's love towards us, our minds and spirits begin to rest in His power and wisdom. These things are written to us so that the God of peace will be with us. Not simply peace, but the God of peace will be within us. It's in our heart. Ultimately, this is about God's dwelling within us. We begin to understand that He really, He begin, we begin to understand that He really will make all things work together for good and we will experience true peace in life to our Lord Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. So let's ask our Lord to make us to be His channel of His peace. And my daughter Sarah will sing an appeal song. And the title of this song is Make me the channel of your peace. Amen.
Just